Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can rename a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to show you how you can rename a standalone SharePoint online site and I'm going to show you how you can rename a SharePoint online site that serves as the back end of a team in Microsoft Teams. Now you can see here that I am currently on a SharePoint online communication site. So this is a standalone site, meaning it was just created directly in SharePoint and is not associated with a team. Now to change the name of a site, the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on the settings icon in the upper right hand corner of the interface. And then you want to go ahead and click on site information. This is going to bring up a site information pane. And you can see here that there is a field that is called site name. So I can just go ahead and change the name of the site in this field. So I will just go ahead and call this operations. And then you want to go ahead and click save. Now you can see here that the site has refreshed and the name of the site has been updated in the upper left hand side of the actual uh, page, the landing page for this site. So again, to change the name of a SharePoint online site, click on the settings icon, click into site information, and then here you're going to see the site name field. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you how you can change the name of a SharePoint online team site. Now, that is a site that gets created whenever a new Microsoft team is provisioned. And there's a specific reason that I'm going to show you how you can do that there as well. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right. Now, you can see that I am in Microsoft Teams and specifically I am in the general channel of a team that is named finance and administration. Now, in order to access the SharePoint online site that serves as the back end of this team, you want to click into the files tab. And if you click on the more options button here, the three dots, you are going to see this open in SharePoint option. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And that is going to bring me into the team SharePoint online site. Uh, that is a SharePoint online site that is a Teams type site. And again, this site is where all the files that are stored in Microsoft Teams actually reside. Now you can see here that this site inherits the name of the actual team. So finance and administration. Now, if I want to go ahead and change the name of this site, I can follow the same steps. I can click on the settings icon and then I can go ahead and click on site information, and that's going to bring up the site information pane. Now, if I go ahead and change the name of this SharePoint online site to just finance, and I click save, now you can see here that this site has been renamed to just finance, and what I want to show you is that when you actually change the name of a SharePoint online site that is the back end of a team, when I go back into Teams, what you are going to notice if I just refresh or click out of my teams and come back into them is that the name of the team is going to um, update here as well. So you can see here I had to click around a few times, but the name actually updated. You can see here it changed from finance administration to finance. So again, the steps of changing the name of a SharePoint online site that serves as the back end of a team are the same. I just wanted to demonstrate this so that you can see if you change that site, it's also going to cascade and update that name of the team in Microsoft Teams. So that's it. This was just a very quick tutorial showing you how you can change the name of a SharePoint online site. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.